full scope satellite network. Okay. For the first time ever, as you can see, we're bringing on a pair of guests at the same time. They host a show on Fox Sports Radio, and well, you know, you can tell just by looking at them, they're clearly trying to copy us. You know, yep. it was our original idea years ago to have a show hosted by two people, not one, and now you got all these people doing it. Anyway, you know, our broadcast partners at Fox Sports Radio, they begged us. They said, hey, have these guys on so they, so they yep. can tap into your they huge did. audience, which is much bigger than theirs. And well, you know, we, we didn't want to do it, but anyway, here they are. Uh, Covino and Rich, welcome to the show. Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? What an introduction. Yeah, Thank exactly. you. It's very kind of you guys. Of already, oh yeah, whatever. Already I can tell this is a problem. First of all, let me just tell you, you know, having two guests at a time is just terrible radio. You may yeah. not know that given your inexperience. It's too many voices. So we just ask you, only talk when you have something interesting to contribute, okay? Yeah. Otherwise, it's just going to get too just confusing. Sit there, otherwise. Okay? Yeah. I kind of agree with that. This guy calls me with no purpose sometimes. Like, what are you calling me for? You got to have purpose to talk. Exactly. Otherwise, text exactly, you know what? I'll text bro. you. Yeah, I would actually if, prefer if you texted it your way during this conversation. It would be much <laughs> better. Uh, but yeah. uh, all right. Look, just another thing. You know, I, again, I don't want to get off on the wrong foot here, okay? But, you know, we listened to a couple minutes of your show just to prepare. And, you oh. know, again, I don't want to sound rude here. Don't take this personally. But it was unlistenable. Okay, you know, you guys, you, you seem like you're trying to do comedy and be funny with your takes and whatnot. I got to yeah. ask, are, 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 are there people who actually want to listen to this type of content? You want to handle this? It's, I don't know. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> well, I got to make one thing clear. I don't know about your experience, but we've been doing this for 20 years together. So it's not like they just 20, 20, 24, put us together. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. beat you. Okay, 24. go. Oh, okay. But it's not like, again, Fox do your research. said, hey, you and you. We've been we've been doing this for a while. Yeah, we, you know, we know. You were on the air in New York, right? That's yeah, where you yeah. used to be. Did you just get tired of having to talk about shitty teams and that's why you left? <laughs> yeah, I'm a Mets fan. I just, <laughs> oh, yeah. fucking there you go. I'm a Yankee that fan. That says everything yeah. right there. Exactly. Yeah. That also you know, is what makes you unlistenable, just for the record. Yeah, you know, I don't want exactly. to think it's just the comedy. Yeah, you know, and here's the thing. With comedy and sports, do you think that's a smart lane to be in? I mean, if people wanted to watch something funny... Why would they watch you? Wouldn't they watch yeah. something funny, like according to Jim or something like you know, that? Something funny. <laughs> it's a good I, know, point. I never saw according to Jim. You know what though? I think is there's never room saw according for, to Jim. No, never. I don't watch that crap. Bro. But it's no. a matter of I think oh. there's a space for serious. But there's a lot of angry people in sports. I don't know what they're so mad about. Sports is supposed to be fun. Didn't you have fun playing sports growing up? I did. No, but yeah, the people against us didn't because we crushed them. Yeah, we but, you know, yeah, them. But, you know, I agree with you. Sports should be fun, but funny, I, don't, I just don't get. I think if yeah, you're undercutting exactly. the There's dates, a difference, you're, you're kind bro. of making a joke about all this. Yep. No, yep. I'm just a fan, and I'm trying to have a fun two hours. That's how I look at it. There's, again, a lot of guys yelling at each other when you're watching Talking Heads on TV about sports, and we just try to bring that barber shop sort of vibe. It's just who we are. It's what we do. Well, I see your problem right there is you're doing too much content. Two hours is way too much. We do 20 minutes each week. 20 That's minutes, enough. bro. You know, you're, you're outstaying your welcome. All right. On yeah. the subject of outstaying your welcome, let's just talk about something here. You sure. know, you got all these people in the sports media now. They're talking about the WNBA. You know, usually they just talk about it for a week and, they, you know, then we move on to more interesting topics. Yeah. Don't you think this speaks to just how terrible the NBA finals are? I, listen, I, I'm convinced that no one's going to give a sh in two months unless they keep this drama going. And my thought is that there's a layer of the WNBA no one's talking enough about. And no. it's, most of them are lesbians and they're all hooking up with each other. No. And that has never happened in another sport where you're talking about a bunch of women that are they, they have relationships. Wow, you know Tony. I think he was. They were listening to the back half of the. Yeah, they were sort of listening he to might, the front half of the show. To our so you're show. copying our takes again. We there said, yeah, what First. we need is more sexual tension in sports. Now you're trying to pass yeah. that off as your own take, but okay, really? you're on to something. So what do you see? You know, do you see like uh, you know the teammates just you know moving in with each other at the end of every game? What do you want here? 
I, I, I don't know what I want. I just know that you listen, want the juice. You if, want the drama. It's the only reason we're watching. I'll be honest. I'm a guy who's never watched the WNBA, but I'm that guy people are criticizing who's actually paying attention now because I love the drama. We all love the drama, dude. And I think they need to protect Caitlin Clark. There's a story today where Angel McCautry, a retired WNBA player, is saying, yo, I'm dead serious. I'm 37 years old, a 2009 number one draft pick, five-time All-Star, six foot one. 180 pounds i'll come out there now and protect her and give the league what they need more drama more action more protection of caitlin clark this drama is good for the wnba i like it it's got me tuned in no, hold on hold on not I, I, I gotta shit. ask are you trying to be funny right now is this like a joke yeah, is, is this a, a comedy bit no i went from not caring to actually caring that's that's for real that's legit why you don't care at all no i mean it's women playing basketball what's that a care yeah, about? there's no dunking but there is some juice and there's some drama. You see no. what I'm saying? No. I like that. I like the Angel Reese, the whole, hey, look at me. Hey, I'm, I'm bringing ratings too. I like all this drama. I'm that guy that they hooked in and I do care. I'm looking every night. Hey, is Caitlin Clark playing or what? I'm the guy that got you're, suckered you're in. Gonna, you're going to no. give less of a sh every week that passes. I'm, I, no, well, this isn't is not that a good thing? I, doesn't that solve the problem? Yeah. Of course, the problem being that people are watching it. You know, doesn't that take care of that? Yeah. I, by the way, I don't know who has a more punctual face, either of them or Nick Sirianni. No. Oh. Who, oh. who has the most punctual? <laughs> so I, I don't know. I just, Ooh, you you kind of your topics just on the fly, to Tony. Notes? That this is this is this is the comedy that they're so famous for. Yeah. So, right. so, wow. You know, you wonder. You know what it is? Hey, we grew up on the East Coast. I feel like I know you guys. I used to go down to of Philly and you before go. before I would go see the Mets play in Philly and I would I would hide my Mets jersey in a bag and wouldn't put it on until I got closer to the stadium because I felt like a guy like one of these guys would key my car or something. No, yeah. we would just blow it up. We wouldn't yeah, bother. Yeah, we don't waste but, that you know, time. Yeah, serious conversation here. You know, Harrison Butka. Harrison Butka had some very serious you know and very very re respectful comments about the so role respectful. of women don't you think that makes it harder to watch the wnba that you see a woman like caitlin clark you know just wasting a prime right yeah. now when she could be home you know producing babies instead of you know and focusing on her production off the court so sad you know? Yo. You know, it, it, I'm very East Coast like you guys. They don't make them like they used to. They really don't. <laughs> I, I, I jokingly say that once in a while. But okay. look, hey, everyone has their own path. You know, I don't know. I think there's a time and place for everything. Maybe she will be a good mom one day. I don't know. Yeah. Harrison Vodker, the, the funny part is everyone, people are on him. And then everyone that knows him came to his defense and I think that sort of shut everything down because it's like yo this guy's allowed to have different ideas and I think that that got shut down real quick yeah yeah it's terrible he had some great ideas some fantastic you know? ideas I mean, you know you, know, you got to think about these I mean these women you know they want to be role models for children well if you're gonna shouldn't you just make the children yourself wouldn't yeah, that be what the better a, role a model than by having your own children yeah. seven or eight I see what you're saying, but I have a daughter, you have a daughter, I and I do want her to be self-reliant and not necessarily dependent on anybody. I want her to be very independent and do what she wants to do. And if that's, this is real talk, if she wants to have a family, that's great. But if she wants to pursue whatever it is that she wants to do, I'm all for that. Right, I think that's how we have to look at it. Okay, just to be clear, you're being. This is not a joke, right? Yeah, you're is this being serious uh, again. This is no bit. Not at all. I'm, I'm being. Oh, this is it straight like down a the middle. Bit of a bit. Okay. No. Uh, okay. Uh -uh, I don't play like that. Oh. Oh. He's coming at us, Tony. Yeah. Yep. I failed yeah. recess. I failed recess. You know why? Why? Oh, there's the bit. I don't play. Say so that's oh, the joke, Chris. Yeah, yeah, you also play. failed improv one hundred and one. Yeah, bro. exactly. <laughs> you could. Yeah. You should Go watch the to gym. They're calling. Go watch yeah, according yeah, yeah. to Jim. You know, bro. you guys don't like that. I mean, yeah, that's 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 one summer of groundlings. Hey, right there. sorry. You know, they don't you know, agree is, with he, the WNBA yeah. take. He, he, you know, let's just move on. They're, they're let's ruining our on. brand of sports talk. Yeah. they're jealous. So yeah. right, let's move to MLB, right? You know, the Tucapito Marcano. You know, you see this banned for life for betting on his own team. All right, even though he was injured. But isn't that what being a good teammate is all about? Like, yeah. hey, I believe in you guys so much, I put my life savings on this <laughs> game in an illegal offshore betting account. That, don't you think that's, that's better? Wasn't this dude losing at a 90% clip, though? Like, how shitty is that? Like, you, to be, to lose, you guys know, to lose that much, that's bad gambling. Like, 50, 50, 40, 60, like, 
to lose 90%? How shit of a gambler well, you know, was he? I blame his teammates. They yeah, couldn't that's not his pressure. fault. That's his teammates' fault. They sucked. How do you get caught? Like, do these do these people have never done anything shady? I'll I'm tell you how. You're a 24 year old idiot. He's 24 years old, yeah. and we're bringing these kids up in a world where it's very normal to be gambling. They're just flooded with advertisements and gambling all the time. We grew up in a time where there was some stigma behind it. It was the wrong thing to do. It's sort of like every day. Hey, hold on, I gotta guys. interrupt you. Sorry, one moment. I just need yeah. to get a quick ad read in here. Don't forget to download the Fusco <laughs> Bet app and place your bets on yeah. the top games yeah. going Fusco bet, right now. One. Download Fusco Bet, get 1,000 free betting bonus points right now. Okay, sorry guys, back to you. Um, what were you saying? I, I would imagine, by the way, have you guys uh, have you guys ever got caught cheating ever? Or are you the type of guys that never get caught? Hold on, hold on, please. You're a guest on our show. You're a guest yeah. on our, uh, is this yeah. like a simulcast? This you you let us dictate the topics here, okay? Yeah, exactly, Can bro. You, well, in our defense, we're hosts as well, so it's kind of hard to be no. the guest sometimes. Oh, this it is, is a Fusco oh, show. It's hard to be the guest. Well, it's hard to have you on this show. Yeah, exactly, guess what? bro. If it's so hard, then guess what? You can get off the show. Yeah, guess get what? Out of here. You're done. Yeah. No, You're it's hard done. to be we the guest. Oh, Are too bad. Wah, 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 wah. Go copy and someone Rich. else, you We're losers. Like Covino and Paul. Are they off the line? Jay, hang up you the know, phone. That might have been the worst booking in the history of the show right there. Worst. You know, if I'm Fox Sports Radio, I'm embarrassed that those guys are on my network. Uh, absolutely.